Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Self Publishing 101 with Lorenzo Mons. And here we are, we're at the final stage. We're gonna get our book over to KDP and we're gonna upload our cover and then we're gonna sell it on Amazon. And this is the fun part. Um, I am on KDP Kindle Direct Publishing's website. We're gonna switch over to the actual, um, sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, here we go. So this is their first page and they have tons of help topics. You can go crazy on help topics. You can spend all day or the weekend going over and all this stuff is very significant and very important. And if you want more knowledge, I would go through this stuff. If you feel that you're ready to jump into the water, um, then you can come back to this later. They have lots of videos they talk about um, just about every subject you could think of and they even go over your royalties and taxes and how that works um, There's ways to find templates as you can see here, but I'm going to explain it to you So I'm going to cut the chase on the next videos that are coming out and kind of like get us through this as in the easiest possible way and I don't want you to struggle and suffocate the way I did I want you to like because I I couldn't find anything that helped me the way I wanted to be helped. So that's why I'm trying to do these videos to hopefully, you know, help you hold your hand to get you through this. Now, if you've already published books and made titles and made book covers and so forth, you don't really need me. But if you're, if you're kind of like, well, I'm not sure about all this, then these are going to be great resources for you that I'm going to share with you. So I'm not going to go over any of this stuff with you on this video. Um, you basically want to just go through here and discover, but you have to have an Amazon account and your bookshelf is where your books that are published or maybe trial books or, or experimental books are. And if you don't have anything, then it's going to kind of take you through um, the pages you have to fill out for information to get your book going. But we have like a couple of things going here that these two books are already published. And um, these are books that I was playing around with, um, experimenting with. And I wish you could delete these, but you can't. So mm, I really wish they offered that. They don't. I also wanted to say real quickly that um, Amazon reaches millions of people. It's it's all over you know different countries and so forth but it's not the only place there are other um, aggregate companies like publish drive and lulu and direct to digital that will take your book to online stores um, like barnes and noble and, and even walmart has a digital online store uh, and there's more there's there's a lot more and the libraries there's thousands upon thousands, hundreds of thousands of digital libraries. So you want to get your book everywhere that you can, uh, which will help you, and you want to market your book. So you have to do all of these things in a sort of um, retrospect to not just putting your book out and hoping people will buy it. They may, but also pushing your book, marketing your book, selling your book. And that's a big strategy that you have to do because it a lot of times it won't just sell on its own unless you're you know an accomplished uh, author and you have a following and people are just waiting for a new book to come out and you've you know you've got thousands and thousands of people that love your your stories and stuff so you've already got it made there but a lot of us sort of first timers or we've only written one or two books don't have that yet and it's hard to get to that point um, I'm going to go over that in other videos with you um, to try to explain it to you. But we're here today to get your book ready. So I, like I said, I strongly suggest that you get an uh, author's copy. Remember, author's copy. Have that sent to you. It's like seven bucks. Take your book, hold your book, turn the pages, make sure you're like in cloud nine, and then go ahead and publish it. So let's go into, and this is like request author copy. You do that and then they notify you within a few hours or whatever it is. And then you go on Amazon and you purchase the book because you have an account. We're going to go to edit 
paperback content. And this is going to be like a scaled down version, but I'm not going to go over all this stuff with you. Um, basically, you can, you can highlight this and read about it, and you can go on YouTube and you can uh, type in a topic like, what is KDB Select and find out the pros and cons and whether you want to be with them or not. Um, as far as another avenue of getting your books out to sell. Um, so all this stuff is kind of self-explanatory. Upload your paperback manuscript. Well, obviously you can't have a book cover without having your manuscript, your story. So you have to have that uploaded, but we're going to do that in another video. We're going to go into launch the cover creator. Hmm. You can use their cover creator to make your book cover, or you can upload your own image or go to KDP stock images. I haven't really looked at KDP stock images because I part of the, the celebration of uh, creating a book cover is kind of finding what you like, um, going on publisher, uh, Microsoft publisher, putting your title in and so forth, and then saving it and you've created that book cover um, as opposed to getting something that somebody else has created, kind of a stock image. I mean, you can hire somebody, hiring a professional and spending $500, $700,000 doesn't mean your book's going to sell. It probably is even going to hurt more if your book doesn't sell and you've spent all that money and your book's just sitting on Amazon. You've sold a couple of copies. So, you know, mm, they they sort of say, you know, this author's made uh, book covers for this famous author, that famous author, and he will make book covers or she will make book covers for you. Um, you got to remember these famous people are famous. So no matter what their book covers look like, they're going to sell on the name alone. Just like if you go to a movie and your favorite actor's in it, how many times do they make bad movies versus good movies, but you still go see it because he or she is someone you really like, and this time their movie wasn't as good as their last movie. So don't, don't you know, kind of think about that before you do anything. But let's go into use the cover creator. We're going to launch it, and we're going to take a look at what it looks like. Now, I've cut to the chase on this book. The next video that I'm going to have to do will go into more detail um, of um, when your book isn't completed like this is, but I want to show you what it looks like when it's completed. So you have your back cover. Now I decided just to go with a basic black back cover because again, no one's going to see it until they buy your book and I don't think that's a game changer. The spine is black, not a big deal. Um, the main thing is the cover and I think the, the back, the back of the book for this particular book or even all my books is fine. I, I really don't think I have to really concentrate too much. But as I've said, once your book is published and say a month from now you go, oh, I really, I found the perfect picture for my back cover, you can change your back cover. So, you know, uh, you don't have to live with, uh, with what you have unless you're perfectly happy with it. If you're not, you can play around with it. So you're not ever stuck when you self-publish. It's, it's a great way to do a book. So they're, they're found one mistake in this book. Before I go there, you see this, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a, it's a red and blue dotted line that goes from the front cover to the back cover. And everything that encircles inside of that has to fit. So Cancer Seek, which is the first line of my title, if that C was like an eighth or uh, higher, it would hit that dotted line and it wouldn't be accepted. Or if my name, my author's name, Lorenzo Monza, was just a squitch lower, it would hit that dotted line and wouldn't be accepted. So what do you have to do if, if they say, no, sorry, this isn't fitting in your cover? Go back to the edited version in Microsoft Publisher that you saved and you put saved as edited version and then when you have your cover that's yeah, ready for uploading into KDP you put cover for you know Amazon so you know the different the, the one's an edited version and one is a finished version so you go back into your edited version and you might have to lower everything cancer seek and destroy the little see all those might have to be lowered 
just a hair to fit in the dotted line. You save it, you give it a new, like the today's date, and then you go back, upload it like we did, and then take a look at it, and then you're like, perfect. Everything fits in that dotted line. This is a go, 100% ready to go. The other thing is, um, you see this little thing that says, we recommend at least 300 DPI quality printing, but this image is only 293. So we're seven points off from perfect. Not a big deal. I got a copy of this book and it's beautiful. The title, everything came out, the font. It looks very professional. It looks like it could go up against any book in any bookstore as far as a cover goes and clarity and sharpness and, and um, resolution and so forth. So they're just telling you, you know, mm, you're not you're not right up to par with what we want, but um, but it you're fine. So don't trip out on that. I mean, if you're like really low, like 260 or 270 or so, your picture might look a little your your cover might look a little not quite as sharp. It might be a little blurry or pixelated maybe. I've seen covers like that um, from friends and their books covers I think still look really good. There, I think there's a whole thing on book covers where people put too much emphasis. I, they have to look good and they, they need to look good, but mm, there's they, I got really scared when I thought about book covers like you know buying a house and it's not painted correctly and all the neighbors are saying how ugly is a house. I, I think they put too much emphasis on that, but I'm going to sure find people that say, no, you're completely wrong, obviously. So I don't, I don't want to be negative or positive about anything. I think you can get away with a really good book cover. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, all right, so we're going to end this video because the next video we're going to actually do what I did here and do kind of create it from scratch. And I'll show you what that means and how we can change, we can have different sort of formats for our book cover. And I'll show you that in the next video. All right, so thanks for tuning in and please subscribe and uh, stick with me because uh, I've got a lot of information I want to share.